The next step that we need to do after we put our Google accounts together is we actually need to verify our domain to prove we have legal use to use it. Now I've gotten out of the admin console and I did that on purpose. How do you get back in? You will receive an email saying welcome to Google Accounts for Business and you can click here anytime and get back into your admin account. But what if you forget that or you just misplace it? Emails can get misplaced. Do this. Go into Chrome or Safari, Explorer, whatever, and come up here and type in admin, A-D-M-I-N, dot Google dot com. Now, I've done it more than once. It remembers it. Type in the email you created when you put this together. And that, for me, would be Andy at realandy dot com. Type in your password and go ahead and sign in. Now, you can choose to stay signed in if you want to. The next thing that we need to do is verify our domain right here. Now, it might say setup. If it does and you click it, the next thing it will say is verify domain. I'm going to go ahead and verify my domain. Now, what this means is, do I have legal use of that domain? I have to prove it. Begin verification. You have a couple of methods. You have the recommended method. I didn't use the recommended method, but I want to show you all your methods here. This one is actually the easiest if you have access to admin on your hosting provider. So if I come down here and find mine through the list, and I've got some with Melbourne, and I've got some with Network Solutions, and if I select here, here's where the fun starts. It gives you a list of instructions on what you have to do. What I need to do is go into NetworkSolutions.com by clicking here access my managed account so I have to have the sign in and the admin password for network solutions that might be your IT department but before you go there you select this text down here and you're gonna to have to paste that into an area you drill down 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 and you finally get here and you copy and paste it so I would go here and basically begin the process and I'm not going to do that because everyone would be different let's get back out of here let me show you what I did this process, and you're just following instructions, but this process can take up to 24 hours before it actually becomes verifiable. Your alternate methods, the one I chose, was an HTML tag. I designed my own websites using a program called Dreamweaver. Absolutely love it. It's a dream come true. And I decided instead of going through the recommended method, I would use an HTML tag. To me, this was actually easier. So I went in here. It's very easy. It tells you what to do. You go into your index page and you select this text, which is a meta tag, and you copy it into your index page. That's all I had to do. Now, once I've done that, I come back out, save the page, load it back to the host, and then come down here and say verify. Now, you can see it still says we weren't able to. In my case, I did this just a few minutes ago. So it still hasn't gotten to Google yet that I'm verifiable. But that's okay. Really, it is. Don't worry about it. Just click not now. Come back in an hour or two. Try it again. That's all you have to remember.